Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac. I'm gonna pick Maggie today, cause I am. I don't even know what's going on. I've taken most of the day off because uh, I really needed some rest. I've spent like tons and tons of time recording every day for the past few days. And uh, as I said, a few days ago for you, but like not long ago for me, I'm getting ahead before PAX and then just maintaining that in the coming time before it actually happens. And I, uh, I'm almost there. So I took like all day doing nothing, relaxing and stuff. And it's been solid. It has been totally solid, which is good. So we're just gonna have some nice relaxing Isaac play to uh, finish off my day and get me far enough ahead before PAX. Easy peasy, right? And uh, yeah. I'm excited. Maggie has some nice leeway. As you saw, I went ahead and... Eh, sure, let's take Tammy's head. I never get to. I went ahead and went into the curse room because I have that ability as Maggie due to the um, Yum Heart with no risk because it's not likely that I'm going to end up using the Yum Heart anyway. I was like, why is there an item in this room? This isn't the item room, <laughs> I realized. Oh yeah, I have Tammy's head. So I got um, Bobby Bomb, which is homing bombs and five bombs. I'll play this with my two cents, because it's not like I have five cents, so I'm not really that upset if I don't uh, keep it. Alright, pill. Be the best pill. That's not the best pill. Oh well. That's okay. And uh, yeah, I didn't get back to full health with Yumheart. It's not important. I'll get back after the boss anyway. So Tammy's head shoots out tears in ten directions, and they do tons and tons of damage, which is pretty sweet. So my soul hearts are gone, which is fine. Not hugely worried. That I disagree with. But that's alright. Dodge perpendicular to the widow, and you will have a good time. No devil room to earn here, so it's fine. Like it's there, but I can't earn it. So no need to worry. And we get meat. Fantastic start. Meat is health up and 0.3 damage up. And our damage does affect Tammy's head, which is once again pretty sweet. It's usable every room, so... Oh, I'm getting hit here. Oh my god. That luck. That luck. Alright, let's fight the boss while we're feeling lucky. I can't believe that I actually got that kill off. Alright. And Tammy's head, besides being affected by your damage... I don't know how much it does, by the way, but it's broken when you have chocolate milk or when you have lump of coal. It does no damage with chocolate milk, I believe and it does significantly less with lump of coal. So uh, I'm not gonna avoid those items in, other than like when I would normally avoid them, so don't think that I'm playing this run to optimize Tammy's head, because I'm not. But that's totally fine. So we get a soul heart for this fight. We get our first cube of meat, which is an orbital to block tiers and damage enemies. Seven damage per hit. And ideally, I get no more. So uh, yeah, for two health, I'm not willing to buy either of these, especially because the dead cat would actually cost me four health, basically. It's not worth it. So now we have the possibility of angel rooms in the rest of this run and the next run, if I play another run in this session. That was close. So yeah, I did take my soul heart, which, as usual, is probably a mistake because of curse rooms being possible, or anything else that I might want to do. Like, even just, perhaps, save that, uh, save that soul heart because taking it to the next floor helps me get devil or angel rooms there by not taking red heart damage with a greater likelihood. So there you go. Loki's horns. Definitely special, but I'll come back for it because that's totally my first special item. So I'd like to uh, give it its chance to not be the only one I get here. Alright, that was a solid use of Tammy's head. But like, as you can see, it's not hugely useful. But here, let's try this. They're... Oh, wow. Garbage spawn. <laughs> so I lost half of a soul heart, but I did kill most of the enemies with that Tammy's head use. So it's kind of what you want. It's just that I lost half a soul heart there, which is pretty, uh, pretty silly. And it wasn't entirely my fault. So Ace of Spades increases the drop rate of tarot cards and playing cards, which is good. I did that for that very purpose, 
to get three cents and then whatever was in the secret room, which turned out to be three more cents. That's okay. I have no keys so far. Can't forget Loki's horns. Chance to fire in all four directions when we shoot. Cool stuff. Alright, so that's the end of this floor. There's nothing else for me to pick up that could be special. And that's gonna do it then. Let's get it going. If we can get Mom's Eye, that would be really fun, because then we'd be shooting in all four directions practically every time. It's weird, it doesn't seem to be every time if you just have normal tiers, but when you add practically any other tier effect, it seems to start being every single time. It's just, it's strange, and I don't understand it completely, but it's, it's a thing, so. Yeah. And by the way, it's probably not really an item worth taking unless you're already incredibly powerful because it's not likely to be very helpful and it's just kind of one of those items that's a little bit of fun to have because you can do stuff like um that was uh, some crazy dodging by them you can do stuff like shoot uh all directions for like polyphemus or something well okay that's great but how often do i have polyphemus not that often right now Two pills. Alright, so that one's bad trip. This one is luck down, which means more chests and golden chests for us. That's good. That is very good indeed. Oh, that sucks. But we have a tinted rock anyway, so it's all good. And that does contain a uh, pretty sweet soul heart for us. By the way, the reason it dropped a tarot card, which is not something you can normally do, is because it's counted as a chest by the game. So uh, it has the ability to drop tarot cards for us which is um, made a two-thirds chance by the possession of uh, the Ace of Spades. So it's really pretty sweet to have any of those dropping cards or, or dropping trinkets when you have the, um, or with Tinted Rocks, because you're just going to get something like pills with the safety cap, red hearts, or, you know, extra chance at another soul heart if you feel lucky with... Uh, the child's heart. If you have the lucky toe, you can get an extra drop from the uh, tinted rocks. So it's just pretty sweet. I really need some beautiful, lovely, happy keys any old time now. I did pick up a bunch of soul hearts there, and I used the moon to save half a soul heart, which wasn't necessary, but still figured I would. Okay, still no keys, but it's an XL floor, there's plenty of time. That's exactly how I wanted that to go, kill the big enemies and not worry about the small ones. I'm already here, so I'll just do this, take it. Bottle of pills could give me good pills, maybe, we'll see. Another luck down, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna keep Tammy's head again, because I never do. And my pills haven't, like I haven't already found a good pill, I've found bad trip and uh, luck down, so two luck downs is already really good. And by the way, it leans more towards the side of regular chest, which is regular chests, which is fantastic because that means I don't need to use keys for as much, and I like that a lot. Two of spades gives me two keys if I have none, or doubles my keys otherwise, which means yes, it uh, is not really worth using with um, one key at all. It's just not. So that's a thing. This room I can get five bombs for the cost of one as long as uh, it all works out properly so I place that there while running into the rock leave the room and re-enter to increase the blast radius and it didn't work but it's okay because two bombs for five is still a really good trade I don't know why that didn't work though because it should have I did everything right there but that's been happening to me recently and it, by the way only wow works on the bottom right but I don't know why it hasn't been I feel like I've been getting screwed a little bit. Grrr, you jerk. I'm not even going to have it use a bomb for me to get into this. I'm doing it myself to spite them or something. Strength, good card. Good card. Uh, yeah, let's leave the two of spades, keep the strength card. It could be useful. I left a blood donation machine, but I don't really care. I don't think I have much use for it. Still need to go to the second item room, and I will use the two of spades if I have to by the end of this floor. That didn't work. This is fine. The flies shouldn't be able to get to me, and the cube of meat should instantly kill them. 
shouldn't be able to get to me. I didn't say can't, by the way. Because sometimes they cheat and can get at you. That is exactly why I say it that way. Okay, that's fine. Despawn the thing anyway. Oh, okay, we made it. <laughs> All's well. That's kind of the reason right there, by the way, that I don't think Tammy's head is worth taking because it doesn't often hit more than like one target. It's good when it does, but it's just so infrequent that it's actually hugely useful that I don't take it because it's never better than what I have. Hermit's a shop teleport, so that could be nice. Might use that on this floor. Because I have enough money to go to the shop and I have uh, no keys. And of course, saving a key is nice, especially because chances are I'm not keeping the any of these cards, really. Maybe strength. So many chests. So let's see who our first boss is. All right, this is a fantastic boss for Tammy's head. So let's get them, well, not quite great situations or positions rather, but uh, good enough. I can roll with that. I mean, I can use it every room, so it's not a huge loss if it doesn't do a spectacular job in one room. It's just kind of like, it's not often that it does a spectacular job, so I don't feel as nice keeping it. Okay, so this is uh, better than a normal Carrion Queen because it spawns the little hearts, and killing those does their health and damage to uh, the boss. So I can just fully ignore Carrion Queen and kill the little hearts, which I believe it can only spawn two of, but I'm not entirely 100% certain. Ugh, well there goes my soul heart. Okay, there you go, get out of here. As long as there's a heart to kill, I'll do it. I'll do it. Let's try not taking red heart damage, because we have a very... Well, now we have a 1% devil room chance, so I guess I don't care about anything anymore. We did have a very good devil room chance, and then we didn't. Ah, uh, that sucks. Sucks a lot. My damage is also pretty bad. So I would love to improve that. And I didn't use bombs intentionally. Every time I don't use bombs on Chubb or Carrion Queen, people are like, did you know you could place bombs and uh, have them eat them, do extra damage? And I'm like, yes, but I often don't think my bombs are worth using for that because they're much more valuable for other things, potentially. They're not hard bosses, basically, so I don't see using them as necessary. I'm taking ridiculous damage right now. Nope. Not this time. Glad my Cuba meat didn't block that one and then cause it to explode immediately and hit me. That's a thing that can happen. All right. Got one key. Yeah, uh, that's good. Kill one enemy, thanks. <sighs> Give me more keys. All right, fine. Two soul hearts. Where were you in that carrying queen fight? Ugh, oh, I hate this room. This room is a big jerk face. I, you know, I don't think I could have actually avoided that when I put myself in the situation. Like, it was avoidable up until I did it. <sighs> this is gonna be annoying. This room is completely fine, though. You can always do it without taking damage, no matter what, pretty much, if you just make the right decisions. The other one, not so much. So, this one was all on me. I only took, like, one hit, so it's not a huge thing. Alright, so this isn't a big, like, backtracking deal. I don't have flight, so I can't bomb out of here. Pretty annoyed, though. I have to deal with Super Greed. It's a very, very annoying fight. More worth my bombs than Carrion Queen, by far. And I want to use bombs on the mini-boss itself, not on the enemies. Enemies don't matter to me. At least it didn't drop the quarter. That's uh, all I care about, because it's an item that I really just hate. It's not really worth anything. 25 cents is not a big deal. 
and uh, if we happen to get a d6 later, it's an easy item to come across by farming. So I, I try to not avoid it, but the best way to avoid it is to not even see it. So there we go. All right, that was fine. We do get to see our second item room shortly. I'll use another bomb for this. We've already been to the secret room. All right, so next floor we won't have greed. Of course, uh, I add the standard unless it's an XL floor and then I'll get an XL floor and be sad because that's just always how it goes. But yeah. Okay, so we're almost done and I don't want to use the two of uh, spades before using this key unless I get another one. Which, well, we'll see in a moment, basically. If I get one in this room, then fine, I have to go backtrack. If I don't, then I don't. All right, I've gotta go backtrack because then I'd get four keys rather than just three. I'd have three left rather than uh, have three total. So this is slightly better. Alrighty then. Two of spades. Boom. Wonderful. Having three left means that I'm willing to open one chest, which uh, we'll see if any of them don't cost bombs because they're all on the way back. But I don't think any of them don't cost bombs. So, well, that's tough luff. Tough luff. You heard me. It's tough luff. I have been to the curse room and I do want that speed up because I'm Maggie and I start below Isaac's base speed. So it's not possible to do everything without a speed up. So I need it. Now I'm a little faster than Isaac's base speed though. Since that's a 0.3 speed up, I believe we start at 0.85 and that means that we're at 1.15 speed. So it's not, you know, perfect conver conversion, but it's good and we're fine. I can deal with this. I can deal with any speed effectively. By the way, you can do this in one bomb if you bomb about here. Not necessarily exactly here, but about there. And then do the leaving and re-entering thing. I'm not confident in my ability to do so, but I'll try it if this room is the same room. Uh, no, this room's fine, I can just do that. And then that was perfect, wonderful, and the sun is better than uh, strength. Sun's really good, in fact. Makes it so that, um... 100 damage to each enemy in the room, full map, and 1,000 red hearts of recovery. So it doesn't heal Blue Baby, basically what I'm saying there. But it does give us full health if we have red hearts, so that's good. Because literally you can't have 1,000 red hearts to possibly recover, so you can't possibly not get fully healed by the Sun card. Alrighty then. Most red hearts you can actually have that can get filled is uh, 12. Enough to fit on screen. Okay, keep getting cards. The Emperor. Nice to take into the next floor, which means that I'd be willing to use the sun on this floor, I guess. Dang, man. It'd be nice if I had uh, better aim with Cammy's head. Namely, if Tammy's head uh, shot out tears with larger hitboxes, <laughs> pretty much. All right. Boom, that's the one we wanna see. This time I'm not really willing to take that chance at the moment. I do believe that knights are one of the phases of the uh, challenge room on this floor. Sweet, tears up, 0.7. Uh, anyway, I believe that knights are one of the phases and they wouldn't die from it, so I'd be at risk there. And I don't really see a need for that at the moment, because I have no soul hearts whatsoever. I still have pretty bad damage, so I'd like to improve that. Alright. Kamikaze, good item. But uh, until we get something truly great... We're in it for the long haul with Tammy's head because so it so it has been decided. Surprising that wasn't the secret room, by the way. 
Maybe I spawned next to it though, in which case I should have just noticed, but, you know, I didn't. That was a pretty solid Tammy's head right there, and by which I do, of course, mean the exact opposite. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, flies. And also, of course, I didn't want them to escape these uh, hives. Golden poop. Don't really care for, but whatever. I'll take more money when given it. So greed isn't in the shop. We know that. So with my copious amounts of keys, all two of them, I will be going to the shop when it is uh, presented to me. Alright, that was solid. I do need you to die. There you go. Good job. Team effort. Team effort. Alright, it's weird, but it seems that I have a strangely high amount of knockback for not taking any shot speed ups. Guess it's okay at the moment. Star's card I'd rather have than the Emperor going into the next floor, I guess. Maybe, we'll see, I don't know. I'm not going to play this for a little bit, but I will play it ultimately, I'm sure. I missed. Reason being, I don't want to have low health even though I'm not planning on taking any damage. Thank you, base keep of meat. Alright. So we do have our shop, and that's what I'm going to visit. And hopefully we're going to see the candle so we can ditch Tammy's head, which is just really not very good most of the time. But we shall see. Kablooey, that's not even close to the candle. That is among the worst items. Though it can be used infinite, uh, infinitely if you have another spacebar item available to you. I will bomb to get to the secret room. Nine more cents I don't really need, but okay. Maybe it'll be useful. And since I have the sun card, by the way, I can use that to get back to full health after playing that guy for a while. So let's take inventory of all the hearts. One and a half, by the way. Two and a half. Three and a half. So we've got three and a half hearts that are just available without having to use the sun card. That's really good. And I am okay with that. I am quite okay with that. Three and a half hearts. When I'm done with the boss, it'll probably be more, unless, uh, of course, I take damage and have to use some of it. I missed that coin. I don't really care. It'll be fine. Oh. Oh, good job. Missing everything, me. I don't know if I'm really ready to blame myself for missing with Tammy's head so much as I am Tammy's head. I'm not sure if they come out in the exact same place every time or if there's a little bit of randomness to it, because there might be. Alright, this is like the perfect boss. Especially when Tammy's head destroys the enemies. So I should be a shoe in to take no damage here. Which means that I should be guaranteed a devil room because this should have a uh, 1.00 multiplier. We should be perfect. And, I mean, it could be a, an angel room as well. But I'd really rather it be a devil room because we're more likely to get something good in there. Devil rooms are just pretty much better than angel rooms most of the time. At least from an offensive perspective because you're more likely to get things that help you offensively. And, uh, yeah. Totally fine. And since I'm not super worried about how much health I'm going to have through all of it, then yeah, it's definitely okay. Because I think that they are worth the health most of the time. But yeah, angel rooms are nice because they're free, still. Uh, at this point in damage... I'm gonna take this, and then I'm gonna leave. So we got half a heart here, which means four health readily available to us for that demon beggar playing. But I'm gonna go with, um, by the way, I'm gonna finish this room now. Good. I'm gonna use the sun first, because then I can just backtrack and not have to go again. It's not a big deal because I want to take a teleport with me anyway, even though it's probably better to have the sun. Two of clubs doubles my bomb. I'm just going to get it out of the way. Alright. Q. 
Okay. Not very good, but fine. And uh, I'm going to take a chance here in that I'm just going to waltz on into the uh, curse room. It doesn't matter if I take health, but I like the idea that I'm taking a bigger risk this way. So I'm going to waltz on in, hope that I don't die as a result of whatever comes out of the chest. Got these tail, more chests, and golden chests. Less of other stuff. That's okay. And I take the sun. Even though I could have fully recovered, of course. Oh yeah, I can do this. And then whichever one I find first, between the emperor and the stars, I will take, as in whichever one's closer, because it's very easy to tell where they both are. Alright. Ah, but this is this version. Uh, yeah, as I thought, knights. Knights are really weird to hit with a knife. Generally, if you can just aim at their lower eye, you should be able to hit them. But if you aim at either eye, it'll totally work. It's just, sometimes it's picky. And I think this is the emperor, so I'll be taking that. And getting to the next floor. And that's going to do it. So if the devil room's still here, which I don't think it is, I think it already disappeared. Alright, I think it actually might have been when we left that room, but um, Guppy's tail is the only Guppy item that counts as multiple parts of Guppy, multiple thirds, if you get more than one of it. So getting two of it, I would have done it. I would have taken the second one, since that would have been two thirds of the way to being Guppy. I don't really agree that I missed that dodge, but uh, that second one, okay. It doesn't really matter because the chance of a double room is pretty low, and because um, now I don't really have to worry about using the Emperor, and I can save it for something particularly nice instead. Range down lowers my damage with the knife because I still had Isaac's base range, which is uh, the minimum required for the knife to do full damage. Everything above that doesn't make a difference, but below Isaac's base range does. And that also makes it so that Devil, or not Devil, sure I'll just use that. It also makes it so that um, you charge more slowly, so it's just kind of bad. Wow, why don't I just walk into everything? People say the knife's a free win, here I am doing way worse with it. So the funny thing is, the Chariot is a phenomenal card with the, the knife. So that's a thing. I'd love to be able to keep that as well. Because it honestly would make Isaac or Blue Baby a lot easier. Pretty much guaranteed. And of course if I use it on Blue Baby then, you know, that's a nice life because, oh my god. Uh, then I can get to the chest. Strength, I'll just use that for the recovery. The multiplier from, well, 1.5 times multipliers don't apply to Mom's Knife or Brimstone, as it turns out. So that would still be a 0.5 damage up, or sorry, 0.3, because it's the Magic Mushroom. But it would not uh, be a 1.5 times multiplier, which is sad, but true. Thanks, that was nice of you to blow that open for me. All right, one of these days, I'm going to kill you. One of these days, Fistula. Oh my god. Okay, there's a half heart. I forgot what it was like to use the knife. It's fun, but I'm bad with it right now. It's weird. All right. Need more charge speed and range and stuff. Cupid's Arrow is worthless, and I'm actually going to skip it because it's special. And when it is worthless, then I should actually skip special items. Because it doesn't really make sense to have them. Greed is most likely in the shop. No, wait, no, Greed can't be in the shop now. I know that because I just fought a mini-boss. What am I talking about? I was going to say, though, so most of this money is useless, but Greed literally can't be in the shop. 
Eh, you know what? Let's just do this the easy way. Uh, two of spades again, so this time I get to six. Moon takes me to the secret room, which is cool. What the money? What the money? Let's check you out. Compass is good. Key is good, especially when I have so much money. Heart's good, too, at this much money. Okay. I like this. And, uh, yes, this actually is amazing and worth dropping the uh, sworn item for. Where did I leave my chariot card? Where did I leave my chariot card? This is the important question. I left it in here. And the reason that that's good to know is because I can use this to get into the room of curses without taking damage. And I'm not going to use uh, the My Little Unicorn to get out, but that's okay. Two soul hearts is good. I'm going to use this to uh, just destroy the mom fight. It's going to be fantastic. And that's going to be that. So, let's check out the challenge room, because apparently I didn't. Oh, you don't say. Skeleton key with uh, Guppy's tail and two luck downs? Is it my birthday? No, it's not, by the way. It's just not. And it uh, never will be. Okay. Wow. Goodbye, happiness. Oh, good, now you give me a key, and just what I needed. So then I can take the Emperor card, and that'll be awesome. And then I should hopefully have enough damage after a little bit longer that one use of my little unicorn will kill, uh... Oh, come on. Will kill Isaac for me. By the way, my little unicorn is invincibility and contact damage for four-ish seconds. That's pretty good. Maybe this pill is range up. Or health up. That's pretty sweet, too. Uh, before using anything, I want to use the ones I know. If I want to use them, this is another luck down, isn't it? Yes. I want to uh, make sure to get that soul heart. Sadly, I can't keep the Emperor if this is a telepills. I'm not fast enough, I don't think, so let's try. It's a range up. Fantastic. So my damage is back and my charge is a little higher. A little faster, whatever. We have our Polaroid, we're good to go. Two health ups from that was really nice, especially if we can get a devil room on the next floor. I'm counting on the fact that I didn't there. I did take red heart damage on the floor, so it's pretty unlikely that I got one because there was a 0.25 multiplier, but this time I'll only have a 0.5. It's doable. Game's frozen, though, so I'm just going to wait because it'll come back. It always does. Yeah. Some people think that the uh, game won't come back from freezing between levels, but I've never had it actually never come back. Okay, so uh, don't worry about that. It takes time sometimes, but uh, why would I use a bomb when I have so many keys? We use an extra key because uh, there's a chance that there is a um, drop in there, which could be better than an extra key, because it's not like I need all the keys in the world. You know what, that should get all three of them, right? Perfect. <laughs> yeah, whatever, I got my keys back, so I just wasted a bomb. I'm not sure I like that. But it's alright. Have no use for that. So I'm thinking that the boss is going to be down from this path. That I spawned right next to you, sadly, but that's okay. It happens. Oh, uh, you don't even know, I really would like to use this Emperor card for my own convenience. Because dealing with rooms like this is just not not a cool thing that I like doing. Oh, come on. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, room. Already back to 99, uh, not cents, keys. Because I was worried about not having 99. Okay, Gertie Jr., can you calm down with the charging? I just want to knife you. Ugh, I lost a soul heart. Was that worth the risk? No. But I did it anyway. Okay. 
Yeah. Shot right around that parabyte. Not cool. And then that one was the only one that didn't die immediately. Ah. Avoid damage in a room where I'm doing badly is greater than... Wow. So now we're at optimal health. Again, use all the keys and things. The Fallen guaranteed Devil Room item drop here, but I'm still, I'm pretty likely to take Red Heart damage, which would be unfortunate. All that good stuff. Well, I didn't, but I got Brother Bobby, which is garbage. Not gonna be taking that. Let's get out of here. More shots from Isaac and Blue Baby. Not great damage, no good tier effect. I don't like it. Special. Okay. So this floor, I don't care about getting a double room. And uh, that means the damage doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is the fact that I don't have infinite health. Leave the room and re-enter to blow up as many rocks as possible. In hopes of getting that tinted rock goodness. Okay. So I have a bunch of bombs. And I totally have homing bombs this run pretty sure of that one. Alright, so I'm thinking this is the wrong way. This might be a crazy notion. So let's go this way instead. Uh, if only I had a charge for my spacebar item, that would be really convenient. Because that's pretty much bound to happen. Virus is great, especially in conjunction with what we have, but I'm pretty worried about dying right now. So we'll see how this comes into play, but it allows me to do 30 damage on contact and then poison enemies that have been contacted like that for 7 damage per tick. Don't know how many ticks it does, but it's really good. It's a small speed down. Now if only I still had that sun card, right? Ow, almost got hit by the Duke of Flies. That would have sucked this late in the game. Okay, good. Half hearts don't help me. They actively make my life more difficult, actually. That's another luck down. I'll bomb for it with 34 bombs. I'll do it. I think I should be able to do this. Of course, watch that one explode and not hit either of those rocks. Nah, no, good. We good. So we get that luck down. We get another Emperor card, which is literally worthless because we're next to the boss. Alright, we want to take as wide of a spacing as we can. Alright. <laughs> I like how it gave up on both of them because it couldn't make up its mind. Okay, just don't hit me and give me a full heart, although there is a half heart, so if it gives me a half heart, I'm honestly fine. No, that's a full heart. So that just pretty much saves me time. Although the thing is, I want to do more rooms to get another charge for my spacebar item so I can use it against Isaac. Because without it, I'm probably pretty screwed. Because I'm going to use the Emperor card immediately in that fight, or on the next floor. Otherwise, I'd be pretty silly. Clearing this floor is easier than clearing the next floor or doing enough rooms on the next floor, so I'm inclined to do it here instead of there. I mean, not that this room doesn't suck. It would be ideal to take absolutely no damage for the clearing of this floor. And it's nice that they're giving me enough berth that they can all be kind of far apart so I can single them out to kill them. Oh man, a golden key. What lottery did I win today? Yeah, I take another speed up, even though I should still have been above Isaac's base speed since I think, uh, well, no, I know that the virus is minus 0.1. We should have been at 1.15, so that should have been pointless to, uh, or, well, not pointless, but it should have not been necessary to be at my preferred speed for 
optimal challenge but doableness. Oh, I missed. It's relatively difficult to do the uh, perfect thing there. Perfect thing being diagonal shot. It's pretty tough. It's picky. So many bombs. Better than so many keys, I guess, since I already have all those. Alright, so there's my charge. Uh, okay. So I use the Emperor because I can. Take this other Emperor card. <laughs> and then get on my way. See how things go. Oh yeah, this is a good floor for the Emperor. This would have been a long one. Alright, yeah. And I get the poison in there while I'm doing this. It's good. We got one phase done. That's better than nothing. Uh, if we could have gotten into the third phase, we would have needed a lot more damage than we had, but that's okay. If we can keep alive in the chest, we're going to be getting a lot of chests, just due to um, having, like, three lockdowns and Guppy's tail. That's good news. If we can, you know, get to the chest, because that's far from guaranteed with how aggressive Isaac's being with positioning those shots in ways that cause me to take damage. Alright, so there's Polaroid Invincibility. Okay, good. We get another heart. So we're just gonna... We're gonna be fine, sort of. But I'm worried. Alright, so that's two half-decent items. Odd Mushrooms, a small damage up, a health up, and a range up. Uh, it's also a speed down, but I don't really care about that. The health up isn't filled, which is one reason it's not that useful for me right now. It's also... The speed down doesn't stack with that of the virus, so that's why... I'd, didn't even remember to mention it, because I knew that it didn't stack there. So that's kind of cool, but kind of doesn't matter. By the way, the knife does like more damage when you're throwing it, so sometimes people think it's cool to just stand there and use the knife rather than repeatedly tapping for the small throws. Small throws are better. Mr. Mega increases the blast radius and damage of our bombs, but I'm pretty hopeless, so that was close. Half heart's not helpful at all. Thought I would be dead there. Being in Horror of Babylon state makes it so that I do more damage and have more speed, by the way. So it's something, but it's not what I'm looking for. It's mostly that I need to be at full health. I was screwed there, pretty much. I almost made it, but I didn't. Yeah. I played pretty badly at the start of getting the knife because I just hadn't used it in so long. But other than that, that was just a tough run that was not easy to win. I hope you enjoyed it, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.